Hey, what is up, party people? We are getting ready to start our journals for Tuesday. This journal is for the white group, so if you're in the white group, you are in the right spot. So we're going to get started today. Remember, I'm going to talk through some of our options for our categories or for our prompts. I want you guys to pause the video after we talk about it or when I tell you to. I want you to think about your answer. I want you to write it down and then we'll go on, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We have a croissant here. A, cro a croissant is a French pastry. It is a breakfast bread. We might use it for a breakfast sandwich. It's very flaky, if you can see right here, but it's also known for its crescent moon shape. I don't know why they, maybe that's why they call it the croissant in French. Maybe it means crescent. I don't know. I do not take French. However, that's what we're going to go with this morning. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Green is group. So what group would we put a croissant into? So we want to answer the question, what does it have to do with? Well, we know that it's a bread. It's a pastry. We know that it's a food. Think about those as you answer for croissant. Oh yeah, this is the time where you pause your video and go ahead and answer. All right, next is blue, and we know that blue is do. So what do we do with a croissant, or what does a croissant do? Well, I can only think of one thing that I want to do with a croissant, and that is put it in my mouth, chew it, and swallow it. So that is something that I would want to do because those delicious croissants are looking very tasty right now. But what do you guys do with a croissant? What could you put in a croissant? What could you put on a croissant? Think about that as you answer for blue. All right, guys, next is I. I is what does it look like? Remember, we're going to answer three different questions here. So three different questions. Our first question is, what size is it? So what size is a croissant? Are they big? Are they small? Are they huge? Are they tiny? Are they ginormous, gigantic, tremendous? Think about those as you answer. Remember, if you're a Burger King fan, you might want to think about that croissant sandwich because those are mighty big. The next one is shape. So what shape is it? Is it a triangle? Is it a circle? Is it an oval? Or as we talked about earlier, is it a crescent shape, like a crescent moon? And our last one is what color is it? So what color is it? What color is it right now? What color is it as a dough before it goes in? If you left it too long in the oven, what color could it be then? Think about those as you guys answer for croissant or for I and for croissant. All right, y'all. Now we're going to make up, move on to wood. And wood is what is it made of? So can you guys tell me what a croissant's made of? We know it's a bread. So what do we start off with with our breads? What is it made of when we start off? What do we have to make first to make bread? Well, you can also tell me where is it made in? What do you have to put a croissant in to make it? Think about that as you answer for croissant. All right, next we have pink, guys. And we know that pink is parts. So what parts of a croissant do we have? So... We have this outside layer here. We also know that we can put things in a croissant. So those could be a part of, uh, of a sandwich. So what things would you put in a croissant sandwich? Another part is you can put things on top of it, like a topping. What topping would you want to put on there? Maybe a type of fruit or a different meat or a spice? Think about that as you guys answer for pink. Next is white and white is where? So where would we see a croissant? So we talked a little bit about one place we might get a croissant sandwich from, Mr. Hibbard's favorite fast food restaurant. So think about that as you guys answer for that this morning, but also think about where else could you find a croissant? Could you buy your own to make at home? Where would you find a, a croissant to make at home? Where would you buy food from to take home with you? Where's another place you could see it maybe on TV that they where they do cooking? Think about those as you answer for white. All right, guys, last one is orange. And we know that orange is what else? So what else do we know about a croissant? 
This is the time for you guys to tell me whatever it is that you really do know about the croissant, or you could find something about its shape and tell me about that. So we do know that it's from France. This is a French uh, pastry. This is a French bread. We also know that it's kind of made out a lot out of butter. But another thing we know is that they sell them at a certain place. We eat them for breakfast. There's all kinds of different things we could think about when we answer for orange. Make sure you guys do that for me right now. And then when you get done, make sure you give yourself a little dance. Give yourself a big pat on the back. Give yourself a thumbs up, a round of applause, if you will, because you got another journal done for this week. Very proud of you guys. I'm really heart glad with all the work you've been doing. Make sure you guys get your journals done each day this week and get all of your online work done today. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye, guys.